Coming up, we got some information on a new Inside Out series coming to Disney Plus, plus much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's time for a quick Disney Plus news roundup. Let's start off with talking about Pixar's Inside Out 2, which is doing very, very well at the cinema. But we're going to be getting a spin-off series arriving on Disney Plus next spring. So this series is going to be called Dream Productions, and it's basically a sort of, I'm guessing it's going to be a short series, I don't think it's going to be a full length one, but it's going to take a look at um, dreams that are going on. So we saw this in Inside Out, we got to see them kind of go into like this big studio where they were creating all these dreams, there was a big clown in there, that you had the unicorn, uh, and yeah, it's, I think it's a very interesting way and it opens up for them to do a lot of exciting different things because ultimately, it, with it being a dream, they can kind of go all over the place, do some different kind of characters in there. Maybe not necessarily interconnected with some of the emotions, but they can do something a little bit different. Well, kind of got a little bit more of an update from Pete Doctor, who is the chief creative officer over at Pixar, who recently did an interview with Entertainment Weekly to promote the new film. He said, we have finished, it's coming out next spring. I'm not sure there's been a specific release date, but the first film, remember, we did do dream production to see how Dr Riley's dreams are made. It certainly explains why they're so weird. We continued the exploration of the power of dreams and how they affect us in our waking life as well, so it's pretty cool. So I think there's definitely a couple of things to take away there. It doesn't necessarily mean that these dreams are with Riley. They could be with other characters or other people. That could be a way that you know they just zoom in on somebody's dreaming and we see some weird wacky dreams going on. And yeah, I think it's definitely got some scope and it will allow them to continue with the Inside Out franchise, continue to just to push it. And I think shorts, I think this is probably gonna be maybe one of the last series we see of them doing a lot of shorts. He has previously said in previous interviews that they're gonna be doing a lot less of this and instead focusing on films. But it's coming out in spring, so that's quite a big release date schedule. That could be any time March right through till May. And obviously with it being Disney Plus, release dates are very, very sketchy. There's no official date yet. This could easily change. It could easily get bumped back or not, depending on if they wanna kind of make sure that people go see um, Elio, which comes out in June, but also I wouldn't be surprised as well with Inside Out 2 if it doesn't maybe arrive on Disney Plus maybe around the holidays. By then, it'll be a few months gone, it'll be ready to kind of give it a little bit of an extra boost. But are you excited about this series? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. We've also had an update on some of the new content that's going to be arriving on Disney Plus in the UK in July. So this is an addition to new episodes of like The Acolyte and the brand new film Descendants of the Rise of Red. We're also going to be getting new episodes of Bluey. Will Trent season two will be getting Bratz. We're going to be getting the second half of Abbott Elementary, plus also the season finale of Clipped, 911, new episodes of the Kardashians, plus we'll be getting the return of Futurama, plus the second season of Not Dead Yet, plus also the documentary Mastermind to Think Like a Killer. So obviously expect there to be more stuff added, a little bit light in some ways, but plenty of stuff there to keep you entertained. I'm looking forward to watching the second season of Will Trent, just nearly finished on season one myself. But yes, yeah, so those are some of the highlights of what's coming in the UK. And again, most of them are already out in the US. Again, we just seem to get some of this stuff a lot later, which is a shame, but at least things are slowly right, um, coming over. That does highlight with things like Not Dead Yet, you know, it's, it's already cancelled, so I'm not going to check it out because there's not a lot of point, but I'm sure that's going to be a big problem for that show. But let us know anything you're looking forward to watching. Let me know in the comments below. Disney's also just announced that Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will be arriving on digital platforms, including Prime Video, Apple TV, and Fandango at home on July the 9th. It's also going to be coming out on physical media formats, including 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and DVD on August the 27th. No word yet on when it's going to be arriving on Hulu or Disney+. Plus. I'm imagining, based on previous kind of releases, it's probably more in line going to be in August time, around the time when it comes out on Blu-ray. They tend not to put that out around the same time as digital because they want to make more money and they want you to rent it or buy it rather than watching it on streaming. So at least we've got, a, I would say, a little bit of a release window now for when this one should be dropping onto Disney+, Plus and Hulu. But let us know. Are you looking forward to watching this film? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Let's now move on to question of the day. Now with the Juneteenth holiday, it did mean that there wasn't a lot of news on Wednesday. So we'll do a couple of questions here. So first off, let's talk about here a comment from Brendan who says, I can't get over how successful Inside Out 2 has been at the box office. It truly deserves it. I think Despicable Me 4 doesn't stand a chance at this point. I think they need to give that franchise a bit of a rest. 
So Inside Out 2 is definitely doing some big numbers. It's one of the, well, it is the biggest film of the year so far. Looks like it's continuing to do so. The box office continues going up. Had a great uh, Juneteenth day. It was, I think they're saying it's going to be about 30 million on that one. Just creeping up. And that number is already way above um, what we saw with Elemental at the same time. I think it's a good 100 plus million up on the same time. But obviously that had a really bad start. I mean, that was like 30 million to start with. Um, already completely outstripped Wish, uh, over 100 plus million more than that film made. Gonna be doing pretty well. I don't think it's gonna do a billion, but it's got a good chance of having this whole summer of being able to pull in a lot of viewers. Now, uh, Despicable Me, do not underestimate that brand, there's a lot of love for it. I love the Minions, I think they're great. Um, but I do think this one's gonna have a little bit of difficulty in meeting the Riser group because there was that whole thing, remember, where a whole lot of kids would go to the cinema dressed in suits and it kind of become thing and kids were getting banned from, that, that can't be replicated. So it'll be interesting to see how that one does uh, yeah, that viral moment of how much of an impact that had on that box office. And yeah, I, I really would like to say, um, I don't think it's gonna do as well as Inside Out 2, but I still think it's gonna be very good. Um, but I don't think it would do as well as last time. And obviously I think the big one this year is gonna be Deadpool and Wolverine. But let's now jump into another question. Dinky Rob asks, will Disney buy Tubi? So yesterday I spoke about how Tubi was kind of unmatched to maybe outstrip Disney Plus in terms of viewership in the United States according to the latest information from the Gorge from Nelson. Um, no, I don't think they're going to be looking to do it. Um, Fox owns this, they're making a lot of money from it. It's starting to do very well. And essentially, Disney um, have already paid for Tubi because Fox used that money that they made from selling 20th Century Studios all over to them, and they've been able to build this up. Um, it's more of a traditional thing. Also, I don't think Disney needs Tubi. They, Tubi um, is just a free, a free platform. Disney could do this. They could easily just make, you know, Hulu. They could just turn that free and therefore they've already kind of reached that point already and, be, and it would be massively bigger than it. So I don't think generally uh, Disney are at a point where they need to be, they, they are trying to build up their ABC app a little bit. I think testing the water, seeing how that goes. But free services are obviously kind of growing in popularity. But I think Disney really wants you to kind of have the best of both worlds. They're, provide you with ads, and then make you pay a little bit. I think that's what they want. But things could change. I mean, in a year or two's time, we maybe see that the ad tiers, they'd be like, actually, we don't want you to pay for them. You can have them for free, but you're gonna get more ads. And if you don't want the ads, you can pay. I think, I wouldn't be at all surprised if that's where they end up going, and that's where um, we will see the business shift to. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. If you've got a cool question, pop it in the, there, and if it's good, I'll pick it out for tomorrow's video. And on that note, guys, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Laters.